Hi everybody, I'm standing in front of a big old bait boat right there. This is what they go out to catch bait in at CC's Live Bait down at Pascagoula, Mississippi. This week we're going to the Magnolia State. A lot of times we come here to catch crappie or bass, but today we're going to catch all those inshore and nearshore species of saltwater fish. Glad you're along with us. It's going to be a fun half hour coming up. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southwest region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. They build a lot of ships down here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Welcome to Pascagoula, everybody. All out in the background, you see those giant cranes and those big shipyards, everything's about Ingalls around here. That's the big shipbuilder located right here outside Pascagoula. But they've also got a lot of fishing that goes on here and they've got a lot of fish as well. Glad you're along with us today. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna head outside on the Gulf side of Pascagoula, not on the river side. We're gonna go out and fish a few islands, a few rock jetties, a few little points, and see if we can catch a few fish today. Maybe some speckled trout, some redfish, maybe a flounder. All those species that swim just over my right shoulder. We're gonna get to do it today out of my brand new ride. I want you to look at this. This is the brand new Mamba 24 VX. This thing is loaded to the gill. It's got everything you could possibly want on it. It's a stable, dry riding boat with a step hole in the back. You can trim it up just like a bass boat for a really smooth ride. This thing is all tricked out by Waypoint Customs in Corpus Christi, Texas. We're gonna have a good time today fishing out of this rig. While we're out doing that, we're taking you around your local region for this week's fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters. From lakes, rivers, and bays, right where you live, we're gonna cover both fresh water and salt water. So right now I'm going to crank up this Mercury Pro XS 300 hanging on the back of this Mamba. We're going to go out the ship channel, out into the Gulf, see what we can find. Next time you see me, I'll be out there doing some fishing. Right now we get things started back at the studio and your weekend planner. Hi everybody, these salooner tables are showing good fishing conditions on Saturday and Sunday. Peak daytime action begins at 7.31 on Saturday and 8.14 on Sunday morning. The best evening action will begin close to sunset around 7.56 on Saturday and 8.39 Sunday night. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 6.36 and set around 8.31. Evenings will have a moon that's 24% visible. Stay tuned, when we return, we'll have fishing reports from throughout the area, and I will return with the 2022 Bassmaster Classic champ, Jason Christie, to answer your Ask the Pro question. There we go, bobber down. I got one. All right, that looks like a little trout. Let's get something started here. Come this way. No, don't come that way, come this way. Yeah, a little trout. All right, I gotta show you what I did. We've made it out on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We're at Pascagoula, but we're kind of fishing our way down the coast and there's a little trout. I'll tell you what I did. I want to give away a little, a little thing I just did. That's not a big one at all, but he's a starter. <laughs> I threw out there with a popping cork and a shrimp and a little pinfish about that long came up there and tried to eat my shrimp and he got caught on the hook. And when I reeled it in, there was a shrimp and a pinfish on there. So I took that pinfish, hooked him right through the tail, threw it out there and immediately that, that trout got it. So. <laughs> Little secret, if you ever catch a pinfish by mistake, stick him on the hook and use him for bait. Well, we are located on the Mississippi coast and uh, we're kind of on the east side of the Mississippi Gulf Coast near the Alabama line, just outside Pascagoula. And uh, on the, kind of on the other side, you've got Biloxi in the middle 
and then you've got Bay St. Louis on the west side. That kind of gives you the three points that actually we've put in and done episodes of our TV show in the past. Now today, we've actually got a pretty nice day except for the wind. We're severely limited as to where we can go because of this wind. You've got to pick your spots carefully because it can get really, really rough out in that Gulf. I'm going to talk about the barrier islands and uh, some of the fishing around them today as well. Actually, what I've got right here is some oyster shell islands, some little oyster shell reefs that are kind of washed up here. You can kind of see this green grass growing out of the reefs, but that's actually all oyster shell, and there's more of them you can see scattered down there. And what I'm doing is keying on the little cuts in between these reefs. Why? Well, because there's current that washes through there. Anytime you find current moving down here on the Gulf Coast, you're gonna find fish positioned in that current for an easy meal. So what I'm trying to do is just use this classic rig, I'll show it to you later, but it's just a popping cork with a shrimp underneath it, or in that case, a little pinfish, and drifting it through that current that's going through those cuts. And hopefully there'll be a few trout, there could be a flounder, there could be a redfish, you never know what you're gonna catch. But let's see what we can do today down here in Mississippi and give you some information if you wanna come here. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Lone Star Lakes brought to you by Iceland Coolers. Out of Abilene, Texas, Iceland Coolers are roto molded to the highest standards with freezer grade gaskets and easy lock latches. Now this week we're going to start in beautiful East Texas at Lake of the Pines where the bass bite is what you're looking for. You'll want to start your morning of course with top waters up in that two to six foot range. Use your buzz baits, your chug bugs, etc, etc. As soon as that top water bite dies out, go to about mid-lake offshore the main lake humps. Run your flutter spoons, your DD26 crankbaits, your Carolina rigs to catch those deep structure bass there on Lake of the Pines. That's this week's Lone Star Lakes. Look us up on Facebook, Lone Star Lakes. Something just, just hit my popping cork with my shrimp. Got him, there we go, bobber down. There's another one in the same spot. That was just on a shrimp. Oh, a, a flounder, look at here. I told you you could catch anything if you get on those spots where there's current coming through. And there is a nice flatfish right there. They all eat the same thing. Right now they're all eating shrimp. All right, so I don't have a shrimp on here, but I'll just show you what I'm doing to work this bait. In fact, let me just grab one right quick and I'll show you how I'm working this bait. All right, I just put a new shrimp on. And what I'm doing is I'm hauling this out there on a pretty long cast downwind, just out in that current. And what I've got here is that oyster reef kind of plays out right out into that little cut right in between the two islands. So I throw it out there and let that cork settle for just a second. I keep my rod tip down and I just give it a pop like that and it snaps. It's a quick, sharp, sideways snap and you're making that cork grab water and splash and that attracts their attention and then hopefully they come underneath it and eat your bait. But it's a, notice my rod tip here, it's a, it's a real quick snap like that. Snap, and let it sit for a second, let it let it settle, snap it again. And that's the classic popping cork with a shrimp underneath it. Let's see if we can get another one to hit it here. Hang with us. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors, making it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Visit Mississippi, Wanderers Welcome, Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Balls out, made in the USA, heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. We are battling it out today. I'm gonna to tell you what, that's a really good trout. Look at that yellow mouth. One's biting, one's biting it. Got him. Got a fish. All right. We are hooked up. Now, 
in some of the most extreme conditions you've ever seen but I've got something let's see what I got good trout good trout look here ladies and gentlemen oh yeah come here Pascagoula come here Mississippi okay come here come here buddy come here buddy come here buddy I got gotcha. you yeah look at this Oh, I got a big old Pascagoula Mississippi trout. Welcome back, everybody. We are, we are battling it out today. I'm going to tell you what, that's a really good trout. Look at that yellow mouth. Gorgeous specimen. Look at that. That's a solid chunk, and look how fat that fish is. Just look how wide across that fish is. Well, we're gonna gently let him, gently, right? Matt Holtz lives here, he's a buddy of mine, fishes here all the time. He's not a guide, he just fishes tournaments and loves to fish on the weekends, knows this water really well. And he told me to come check some fish out on an island. So I wanna to talk to you in a little bit about barrier islands and the entire string of islands up and down Mississippi. They're tremendous fishing, but there's one little island here he told me to check and we've got 20, 25 mile an hour winds out of the southeast, which is a bad direction to try to do this. And I don't know if you can tell, but we've got three foot swells and sometimes four swelling through here. They're crashing over the back of the boat, but this Mamba's got a great floor drain system in it. All that water's draining right out the back. So I've got the power poles stuck down. We're in real shallow water, only about two feet deep. This is an area you can see this island in front of me and it's got stumps all along the shoreline. And he's been catching some fish just kind of scattered all out in front of it here. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see if I can catch a couple out here in really hard wind, really big waves. Normally I would go try to find the protected side, but this is where he's been catching them. And I checked this yesterday and there weren't any fish here, but that was a really good one. Hey, fishing buddy Kevin DeLong and I had a fun outing to Call Lake. It was during the week. We basically had the lake to ourselves. We were targeting crappie, and man, we caught a good mess of crappie, both in numbers and quality. Now, starting out in the day, it seemed like the crappie were hanging more toward the bottom of the cover, about 8 to 10 to 12 foot of water. But as we got on into the day, it seemed like the fish moved more to the top of the cover, even when the water depth was the same. So later in the day, it seemed like we're catching fish around six to eight foot deep, but high in the cover versus earlier in the morning, we're catching them deeper, closer to the bottom. Now on call, there's lots of brush piles. If you have good electronics, just go around the shorelines, stay in about eight to 10, 12 foot of water, have that marker buoy handy, toss it out, mark them, then go back and fish them. Hey, the white bass activity was also good at call, especially around the bridge pillars, both at the Washunga Bridge and the Sarge Creek Bridge. White bass, crappie, call lake and catch them, but you can't catch them if you don't go. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lose, Feel the Difference, Mamba Boats, Ride with Pride, Strike King, Tie One On, Glacier Glove, Stay Outdoors Longer with our gloves, hats, and shades, Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. Got you, yeah! Oh, there we go. There's one. I got one on. Welcome back, everybody. We are at Pascagoula still, and I've made a move. That wind finally got the better of me. It is howling out there. So I kind of tucked around behind this island, around some rocks, threw up right on the rocks, and I've tied into something. Redfish. There we go. Easy now. Uh. 
got you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now we're catching everything. Well, let me get my thumb up in him and see where he's got the hook. Right inside the mouth. Easy to get out, I think. Look at this. That's what I wanted to do. I'd caught some flounder and some trout, and now we've got a good, nice redfish for you. There we go. You know, out here, kind of out more on the Gulf, they get kind of a light color. They're not that real bright orange. They don't get that real dark color along their top. They're more of a light silvery color. That's just a beautiful fish for you right there. And let him go back here. Thanks for the fight, darling. That was fantastic. Yeah, there he goes. All right, well, let me orient you to uh, kind of where we are now. I mentioned that we made a move out to the islands. And there is a whole chain of barrier islands that are all great fishing beginning down in Louisiana with the chandeliers and then working your way up from there you've got Cat Island in Mississippi we've done shows there working your way up from there you've got Ship Island and then the next big one would be Horn Island and then Petty Boy now there are some smaller ones in between but that's kind of the chain that runs up Mississippi we're actually a little closer inshore we're at an island called Round Island it's a very small island and it's got a bunch of dredge on one end of it where they dredged out and put the fill back on the other end of this island. But that's kind of the, the line of islands. And I'll tell you in the past, uh, on Cat Island, we made several good trips there and just caught some great trout off Cat Island with Sonny Schindler, fishing guy down there and his crew. And then uh, a couple of years ago, I came down here and fished with my buddy Matt Holtz and we fished on Horn Island. We caught some great trout there, and uh, we're fishing some ditches, some guts. In fact, I want to show you how cool this is from our drone shot, but you can see this real deep cut, this ditch that we're fishing in right there, and uh, we caught some great trout out of that. Also, that same day, we jumped a giant school of bull reds and just had them doubled up two at a time and just caught several of these giant redfish and uh, so all these islands just provide great fishing up and down here. And uh, so again, I'm just trying to stay out of the wind. I'll give you just a little look at what's right on the other side of that little sand point right there. It is howling out there, big waves, but I'm tucked in behind it, throwing right off the end of this little rock point right here. And that's where that nice redfish was. So you never know what you're gonna catch out here in Mississippi. I'll give you some information at the end of the show in case you'd like to book a trip here with Mississippi Tourism. Hang in here. Hey friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here with this week's Let's Fish Report coming to you from Hackberry, Louisiana at Cajun Paradise Charters. Tell you what, we're going to do a quick rundown of the whole Gulf Coast. Right now, on Calcasieu, fishing is a little slower in the daytime. The heat, southwest winds making the water a little dirty. Not real great tides, it's tough. But I tell you what, good reports coming at night around some of the chemical plants and stuff where there's lights over the water. Seems to be attracting a lot of bait and holding lots of trout. Venice, Louisiana, still doing pretty good. Lots of trout, I'll tell you what, offshore, they are still catching some nice tuna. And of course, snapper season's on the weekends. So just main thing, be safe out there on the water. If you do have to fish in the hot part of the sun, be safe out there, drink lots of fluid. For old Cajun Phil, Captain Kevin Broussard saying happy fishing, may God bless, and we're gonna see you right here next week. Let's fish. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lowrance, America's number one fish finder, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Coastline Trailers, built by fishermen for fishermen.
Welcome back, everyone. Let's get straight to your Ask the Pro question for this week. This week, Brock is wondering, what is the craziest thing that you have ever seen at the boat ramp? For the answer, we asked the 2022 Bass Master Classic champ, Jason Christie. Um, the craziest thing I've ever seen at the boat ramp is, um, I think that we were at the St. Lawrence River, I'm not gonna mention any names, but uh, a guy backed down to dump his boat in the water and he had unhooked the front uh, bow latch and the boat came off of the trailer and landed uh, in the parking lot. And you think of it as, oh my gosh, you know, the guys on the bank and literally, um, you know, a giant group of guys picked it up and uh, put it back on the trailer. So that's probably the craziest thing I've seen that can go on TV. Thanks so much, Jason. If you have a question, need some help from one of the pros as well, simply go to letsfishtv.com, follow the Ask the Pro link and submit a question. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. This week on the Academy Right Stuff, there is a lot of gear that goes into making a day like today a success in spite of all the rough weather and the big wind that we had to deal with. Beginning with the power pole blades. These are the eight foot blades I have on the back of my Mamba. They did a great job of holding us perfectly steady in some tremendous wind. I've got my glacier gloves on. So many fins and gills and toothy critters out there that we have to handle on a daily basis. The glacier gloves get me by. They've got the leather on the palms to help me grip. They're fingerless so I can feel to tie knots. They keep the water, the sun, the harmful UV rays off my hands. Now, as far as the rods and the reels are concerned, these are the Luz Custom Inshore Speed Stick Rods and spinning reels. They're perfectly matched. They do a great job of this. They're seven and a half foot, medium heavy action for a popping cork and for throwing that live croaker that you saw us catching the fish on today. The popping cork is your standard popping cork with about an 18 inch leader and a trout kale hook on the back end of that, about 18 inches below it. And then we used a circle hook, no weight, on a free lined croaker to catch some of those fish as well. Recently, I was at a Chipotle restaurant and there were two large families with lots of little kids eating at tables right next to each other. The kids were having a big time and making a course, a gigantic mess. When they were finished, one family simply got up and left and left that huge mess and the other family got up and the mom calmly stayed back and picked up everything around the table and as best she could cleaned up the tabletop as well and left it presentable for the next person. That spoke volumes to me. Not just that that mom picked up after her own kids, but it said that if we would all practice a little more adulting, a little more responsibility in the little things in life, that would probably carry over into more responsibility in the larger things as well. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Pascagoula, Mississippi on this week's episode. Two takeaways from this week's show. First of all, that was some really nasty weather out on the Gulf. Great big waves and hard winds. And our Mamba 24 VX did a great job providing a really good stable ride in spite of some huge waves. And takeaway number two was how good this fishery is on that bad a weather day, that much wind, and as limited as we were to be able to catch the fish that we caught on this week's episode says a lot about how good this place is. You might want to plan a fishing trip here. From Pascagoula, Mississippi, until next week, I'm Barry Stokes. Be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.